Now let us state the financial instability hypothesis quickly. It is that in normal functioning of an economy, the interest rate structure, when the economy is doing well, and the liability structures are predominantly hedged, the interest rate structure is such that there is a, it's cheaper to finance short term than long term. And those who can make the arrangements for financing and refinancing will shift their liability structure. And this continues until the margin is eaten up, which means higher short term rates relative to long rates. Short moves up relative to long. The long rate being the market determined rate, really. And then if you have rising interest rates, short term finance, euphoric or good expectations in the economy. You develop financial structures where any drop in income or a rise in interest rates will transform some firms to Ponzi financing. When there are firms that are Ponzi financing, bankruptcies will occur. Bankruptcies will affect the liquidity preference of lenders and borrowers, right? Which will draw in the external financing margin and an economy where the prime generator of profits is business investment or, household fi or housing financing, the collapses. So it's an endogenous process based upon how financial markets behave and how profit-seeking portfolio managers and bankers behave and businessmen behave. There are agents operating for profits. There are agents who manage portfolios who have to have risk and uncertainty valuations. The risk and uncertainty valuations are unfortunately myopic in regard to the past and imperfect with regard to the future. And therefore, a capitalist economy is subject to booms and busts. Fini.